हेलो डियर लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर विश्वजीत संपतराव घोरपडे असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर इन फार्मास्युटिक्स ॲट स्कूल ऑफ फार्मास्युटिकल सायन्सेस संजय घोडावत युनिव्हर्सिटी कोल्हापूर इन टुडेज व्हिडिओ वी विल सी हाऊ टू इम्प्लिमेंट द का हुट इन क्लासरूम आफ्टर कम्प्लिशन ऑफ दिस व्हिडिओ यू विल बी एबल टू यूज द क्रिएटेड का हुट क्वीज इन द क्लासरूम अँड फ्रॉम द फायनल रिपोर्ट जनरेटेड you will be able to analyze the topic understanding of your students so without wasting our time let us move to the demonstration now whenever you want to play kahoot in your classroom the first thing that you have to do is that you have to log in into your kahoot account now here you can observe my another user account which i have created in kahoot and this is the quiz which i had already created in this account so first you have to click on your kahoot quiz which you have created so i will click on this kahoot quiz and now towards the left hand side you will see a green colored play button you have to click on this play button and now this screen will be displayed by the lcd projector in front of your students now how this kahoot actually works in a classroom let us see the demonstration so towards the left hand side you can see the same screen which will be displayed by the lcd projector on the lcd screen and all the students as well as teacher will be able to observe this screen towards right hand side you can observe the mobile phone which belongs to the students here on the screen they have to enter the game pin now in order to generate the game pin the teacher has to select either the classic mode or the team mode in classic mode all the students can play the kahoot individually whereas in case of team mode the students will be playing this kahoot in teams now in basic version only 50 students can play the kahoot individually but in most of the colleges the total number of students or the strength of a class is 60 and hence the teacher has to go for the team mode here the teacher can prepare team of two students so that total 30 teams can participate if the class strength is of 60 so let us select team mode now once the teacher selects team mode a pin will be generated so this is the pin which will be displayed on the larger screen and the students they have to enter the same game pin their mobile so let us enter it 7737617 and tap on enter once they tap on enter they will be asked to enter their team name so let us say that the students add their team name as avengers and tap on okay now the students will be asked to enter their nicknames let us say that there are two students in a team so the first student's nickname will be a and the second student's nickname will be b and then ask the students to tap on ready to join so once they tap on ready to join on the bigger screen the students will be able to see their team name as well as their nicknames now the teacher has to click on start So now the quiz is ready. So the first question is displayed over here for the students. They are given the time of 5 seconds to think over it and discuss over it and then the actual countdown starts. The student have to select the appropriate push button. For example, the third option over here is parenthesis link. Push button is blue color so they have to tap on See on their screen as the option was correct the kahoot indicates that their selection was correct and on the screen the correct option is displayed the other option become blurred now the teacher has to select on next so that the scoreboard will be displayed now as only one team is playing over here so only one team's name and its score has been displayed over here the teacher has to click on next now the next question is true or false type 
the question is displayed students have to read it they have five seconds discussion time and then the countdown begins they have to select the right option now the correct option is true over here the push button of true is blue in color so the students should tap on blue colored push button so again their answer is correct over here they are getting the score of plus 882 and on the bigger screen again the correct op option has been displayed the teacher has to click on next the scoreboard can be seen on the larger screen again the teacher will click on next and the third question will be displayed suppose the student now selects the wrong option let us say the student selects Pfizer over here and for Pfizer the push button is green colored so they will tap on green colored button over here and now as their answer is incorrect on the bigger screen correct option is displayed and on the mobile screen it is indicated that the option selected by this team is incorrect now the teacher has to click on next so first three top teams name will be displayed on a bigger screen and also whoever is the winner his mobile screen will show this display indicating the team has secured first place now if the teacher wants to get the feedback for his quiz he can click on this get feedback button so that on the mobile of the students this feedback form will be displayed they have to give the feedback let us say they, they will give five star did you learn something yes so they will click on thumbs up do you recommend it yes they will tap on thumbs up and how do you feel of course they will feel happy and so they will tap on the happy face now the same feedback can be observed by the teacher by clicking on the show show the feedback button so this is the feedback which is given by the team also the result of this quiz can be observed by clicking on view report button which is in green color over here so the teacher has to click on view report and this report opens in a new tab you can see the rank and the team name is displayed over here accuracy of answering the right question is displayed over here and final score is also displayed access to the detailed reports it denied in case of basic version if you want detailed reports you have to upgrade the version but you can still download the excel file which gives most of the detailed reports so if you click on the download excel file button over here the excel file will be downloaded if you click on this excel file so the quiz was played on 21st february so the date comes over here the nickname or you can say the username of the teacher comes over here then how many players have played it how many questions were played overall performance can be observed over here and the feedback given by the students can also be observed now on the second sheet the final scores of all the teams can be observed and in the third sheet that is Kahoot summary you will see the summary of the entire quiz you can see the rank you can see the team names you can see the total points which have been scored by all the teams and you can also observe that how was the performance of the teams for the respective questions for example let us say that there is one question where more number of red marks are observed if more number of red marks are observed for one particular question this indicates that most of the students have given wrong answer for that questions which indicates that teacher has to revise the topic related to that question once again to the students further question wise report has been given in different sheets and lastly a raw report data is also given in this sheet so most of the detailed report can be observed in this excel sheet so i hope 
Now you have understood how to use Kahoot for interactive teaching learning process. In case of any difficulties or any doubts, you can contact me on my email ID. I once again thank you all and happy learning.